The government aims to have 50,000 COVID-19 contact tracers across the country. This is through the newly designated contact tracing czar and Baguio City Mayor Benjamin Magalong. Magalong says they will be using the combined forces of health workers and PNP investigators to conduct contact tracing. Interviews will be done among individuals exposed to a COVID-19 positive patient. Magalong, a former PNP criminal investigation and detection group chief, believes police investigators are effective for contact tracing because of their cognitive investigation skills. They will also utilize the PNP's crime mapping system and replace it with COVID-19 case mapping instead. Pagkatapos nila ma-interview, uh, malaman nila lahat yung mga information binabato yan sa mga community support teams at sa ibang mga pan din, uh, contact tracing personnel din para ma-identify, ma-locate and then immediately uh, you know, isolate them. Suspect and probable individuals will be tested through RT-PCR test. They will undergo home quarantine while waiting for the results. If they yield positive, they will be transferred to an isolation facility. Magalong stresses that PNP personnel will not use force during the conduct of contact tracing. They will ask the PNP to help them convince probable or suspect individuals to cooperate with them. Nung time na nagpositive na siya, kailangan na siyang i-isolate dahil symptomatic. Kukunin siya, i-isolate, baka pwede rin siya mag-resist. So again, we have to seek again the help of the police. Pupuntahan ng police, kakausapin, negotiate. Tapos, dadalhin sa isolation, but not to treat them like criminals. Earlier today, Magalong led a seminar and training of some 120 contact tracing trainers from Metro Manila including National Capital Region Police Office or NCRPO personnel. On Tuesday next week, Magalong will go to Region 3 for another training of contact tracers. Dante Amento, UNTV, News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.